Hello everyone, so today um, my son was asking me to make one of his favourite desserts, uh, apple crumble. So I thought I would share um, the recipe with you today. You can probably hear my son listening to Mr. Tumble in the background. Um, that's one of his favourite shows. So first step is you want to take your apples. I have one cooking apple and four red gala apples. And uh, you can also use Braeburn apples, they're quite good as well. So all you want to do is wash and peel these to start with, and then we will cut them into um, chunks. Okay, so now that we've got those washed and peeled, we just want to cut them into medium-sized chunks. We don't want the chunks to be too small, because we don't want the, we want the apples to maintain their shape. We don't want it to turn into applesauce when we cook it. Now that the apples are chopped, um, I'll just show you the sort of size. Um, you don't want them really any smaller than that, uh, or like I say, they'll turn into applesauce when you're cooking them. So just go ahead and take your apples and add them to a small pot. And next step um, is we're going to add our sugar and cinnamon. What I add to the apples is about 100 grams of golden castor sugar and about a heaped teaspoon of cinnamon powder. So you just want to add that to your apples. Give it a good stir. And you just want to gently cook that on a sort of low heat just until the sugar has dissolved. Also guys forgot to say when you are cooking the apples with the sugar and cinnamon you can also add in two to three cloves and I, I like it but my son and wife don't like it but if you like cloves, definitely add them into this recipe. As the apples cook, um, they'll start to release some of their juice and then the sugar will start to dissolve into that juice. So these are nearly done at this stage. Uh, and once that's all dissolved, you just want to turn, turn the heat off. And the next step is we'll start to make our crumble topping. So into a bowl, um, I've added about 80 grams of all-purpose flour, three large tablespoons of flora, or if you want, you can use butter. And I've also added 50 grams of golden castor sugar, 20 grams of oats, just to add a bit of texture, and also half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So you just want to kind of with a fork. I, you can do this in a food processor if you want, but I prefer just to use a fork. Um, I kind of just mash the flora or butter into the flour and sugar mix. So once you get it to this kind of texture, um, you can start working with your hands. Now you probably will need to add a little bit more flour at this stage. Uh, I just don't like to add too much flour at the start. And you see how I'm as I'm pinching it, I'm kind of just rubbing my thumb and my index finger together, index fingers together, just to kind of crumble it. You just want to keep adding flour and breaking up those larger chunks until everything is into just a nice crumbly texture. It doesn't have to be uniform, that just adds more texture to the crumble once um, you've cooked it in the oven. You want to have some a couple of bigger pieces, some smaller pieces. Okay, so this is the kind of texture that I kind of go for. Um, I probably added altogether maybe 
another 80 grams of flour, maybe more. Just keep adding flour until you get to this kind of texture. I'm just going to cover this with cling film and also my apples and put them into the fridge just to chill for about 30 minutes. At this stage you can also start preheating your oven to 180 degrees um, just for about 30 minutes. Okay so it's been about 30 minutes and the oven's preheated there at 180. Um, I've put my apples and the all the the juices as well into a pie dish. I just take my crumble mix and just sort of evenly scatter it around. I usually just start at the edge and make my way around. So once you have that all spread over evenly, just take take your pie dish, put it into the oven on the middle shelf. And that will cook for about 20 to 30 minutes or until you get a nice golden colour on top of the crumble. Okay, so after about 25 minutes, um, this is ready to take out of the oven. And this is what you're kind of looking for. Um, nice sort of golden brown top. And you may get some of the sauce coming out from the sides as well. That's okay. Uh, I would suggest using... Um, a dish that is deep so just in case this does happen it doesn't start pouring out the sides and <laughs> ruin the bottom of your oven so definitely give this a go yourself guys and don't forget to hit the like button and comment and subscribe please there'll be plenty more of these recipes to come thanks guys see you later